Listen up, bronze. Listen up. Today we're taking a look at yet another challenge problem from Brilliant org and today's daily challenge deals with classical mechanics now if you haven't heard about classical mechanics go ahead and watch our physics lectures but today we're focusing on the concept of momentum more specifically the conservation of momentum this problem discusses an astronaut who has a bag of rocks now each rock that she throws adds an additional velocity to her own movement due to newton's third law of motion now let me go ahead and add that diagram for you that represents right there the astronaut and the astronaut has a collection of nine rocks and each of these rocks she throws at some velocity v and it provides her some recoil velocity delta v and our goal our goal is to determine her final velocity after throwing away all nine of her rocks or all eight of her rocks all right folks let's go ahead and check it out how do we solve this conservation of momentum problem well first and foremost what we have to do is write down the conservation of momentum momentum initial is equal to momentum final all right so let me go ahead and write that down you can see that this is quite a simple conservation of momentum question so pi is equal to p f all right so what is momentum initial momentum initial is going to be the mass of the astronaut times the original velocity of the astronaut okay so i'm going ahead and writing that what about the momentum final that's going to be the mass of all the rocks and the velocity of all the rocks all right so let's go ahead and find out what the mass of the astronaut is that's going to be her mass plus the mass of all the rocks combined all right remember that each of the rocks are one fourth of the mass of the actual astronaut all right so if i go ahead and plug that in i'm left with m plus 2m now what about the velocity after she throws the first rock we're given that that's going to be one meters per second okay and now we can go ahead and plug in the mass of all the rocks that's simply going to be m over four since each rock is a fourth of the astronaut's mass and our goal is to find the final velocity after she throws away one rock all right let's go ahead and simplify that we have 3m is equal to m over four times the final velocity now we just isolate final velocity mm cancel and we're left with 12 meters per second is equal to the final recoil velocity but that's only the first step recall recall that we have not one rock not two rocks but a bag of nine or eight rocks so we have to go ahead and carry that forward using a summation notation so we take the summation of the following expression right you take the mass of one astronaut which is going to be m plus one fourth of her mass for each of the rocks times however many rocks she has left so start with nine rocks or eight rocks and then subtract off however many she's thrown and take that summation from one to eight rocks since she has eight rocks and so our final answer is going to be 15 approximately 15 meters per second all right folks thanks for watching thanks for watching sponsored by brilliant.org the ambition plus mko plus scaffolding you go learn we believe anyone can learn anything that's why our motto is memorization is a crime and that's why we partnered with brilliant brilliant transforms math and science into hands-on activities so that you too can understand everything from first grade math to e equals mc squared barry science lab and brilliant is your mko and will give you the scaffolding to expand your ZPD until you become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein. Visit brilliant.org slash Barry Science Lab today. And the first 50 of you to use that link will get a 20% discount on the Brilliant annual subscription. Don't, Don't forget, forget that you too can, can become, become the, the next Einstein. Einstein. So, so let's, let's fall in love, love with math and science. science.